Hello, I am Rob Madge and in Peter Pan I will be playing Tink. When I first got the call to be in the panto last year, I was blown away because it was my first ever panto and I'd grown up watching them. I'd always wanted to be in one and the Palladium was the first uh, theatre I went to in London. So to be asked back was I mean, I was blown away and I'm just very excited to not be dressed as a cow this year. As a child, I would always put on productions in my living room. Peter Pan was a very heavy feature of those living room performances and my dad would uh, put a tie around my waist and fly me on one of his work ties uh, and I would be Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. I played all the parts, really. Uh, so to actually be... <laughs> to be doing it properly is a childhood dream come true. Being able to stand on the Palladium stage as myself, as, as Tink, in a role that I would never usually play in any other category, uh, really makes my heart sore. And hopefully it's the start of many more um, examples of proud representation in theatre, and mainstream theatre especially. I mean, kids come to Panto and hopefully see themselves represented or see a future where they could be whoever they want to be. And that makes me very proud. Don't be afraid to flourish and, and be yourself because I spent a long time uh, trying to box myself into categories that I just didn't fit into. And it was only when I said, you know what, I'm just going to be who I am, that I end up getting to be Tink. Whether you're four or 400 years old, there will be something for everybody. And I can't wait to do my thing and sprinkle some magic on that Palladium stage. It's going to be very queer. It's going to be very camp. Oh, I'm going to give Julian a run for his money this year, I think.